Tallahassee, Florida, home to the Florida State Seminoles, and at one time, the strongest frat in America. The year was 2019. The world was a different place. And at Florida State University, it was a strong one. It was then, five years ago, that I visited the Pike Fraternity House for the first time and witnessed muscular history. Since then, the group story went viral, becoming universally known as the strongest frat in America. Fast forward to 2024, those brothers have moved on to their postgraduate lives, but some things never change. You're in the gym every day? I used to be. I haven't been in the gym in probably like a year and a half. Why? I broke my back. Unfortunately, the wear and tear and ground and pound from years of strong arming steel had accumulated for Brother Orlando. Herniated a disc in my lumbar spine. What were you doing? I think lifting too much, to be honest. And he wasn't the only one. Brother Enrique, once a beacon of being big, had also torn his bicep. Do you think this happens to your younger body? No. I was unstoppable. Can you feel your body changing as you get older? Yes, 100%. What have you felt? Hair loss. You've already lost hair? Yeah, I'm I can't take the hat off. Just five years after being crowned the strongest fraternity brothers in the United States, these young men's mental was being put to the test by something some like to call the real world. Do you have a boss? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes. Is it a woman? It's a man. What does he tell you to do? You do this. Crippled by gray leadership, the brothers have been forced to forge their own paths. So what profession did these pikes find? Uh, I kind of found myself trading crypto markets. What does that mean? It means uh, I, I buy and I sell throughout the day when I think I have an edge. Like what's one? I, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't even know the name, the company, what it does, what it is. Right. I, I just, if it's moving, if other people are trading it, then I, I'm, I'm there. As fate would have it, Brother Enrique was also there. What's your job? I buy, I sell, and I tell people when to buy and when to sell. What do you sell? Cryptocurrencies. An industry with seemingly no downside. Do you have to pay taxes on crypto? Oh. That's up to you. That's up to you. While these financial experts buy and sell their way into the top tax bracket in 2024, their original proving ground is home to a new group of muscle-bound members, a fresh crop of curlers ready to contribute to the legacy that was built long before them. The Legends Room, you know, anything that we've done is here. You know, literally, there's a stone right there, a pike from the first house, we're legends here. There's a stone from the first house where legends here. Yeah. From the first house, 1986. If you were here in 1986, what would you have done? Try not get us kicked off. Then we get rid of Hitler. Then we stop 9-11. If there are any setbacks from supersets, the current Pike brothers are unaware of them. Either that or they're in denial. Has anyone at Pike ever injured themselves while doing exercise? No, not that I know of. If, uh, if they did, they're too soft to be here in the first place. Breathe out. You got it. <laughs> while many Pikes maintain their meat mentality, just like the fraternity of old, there are still some brothers who do not adhere to traditional thinking. Do you lift weights? Never. In fact, there's a rising undercurrent of young men who believe modern science shows there are other ways to reach peak physical fitness. I mean, you can look good by having good metabolism or something like that. Mm -hmm. Did you have one of those? No, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that the best way for the current brotherhood to honor the tradition before them is to create their own legacy. What do you want your legacy to be? I want it to be huge. Huge. And I want it to be about me. You want your legacy to be about you. And as they begin the first leg of their legacy, the Pike Network allows them access to sage advice. What would you say to a, a current student brother at FSU Pike who says five years from now, I want to be a crypto trader? Don't do it. 
Don't get into it. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. In all, Pike is not only a brotherhood, but also a code that promises to reward all those who honor it. I plan on you coming to my house and going, holy shit, I need to talk to the security guard to get in my front door. Mm. Who is this guy? Mm. That's what I want to be in five years. And how am I going to get there? Yeah. Solar. People looking at me like I'm crazy. Solar panels. I'm going to sell solar panels. With futures as bright as the solar, the roadmap to get there is short and sweet. Hello, bro. How you doing? Good. How are you, brother? Just short and sweet, man. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just keep pushing it. The wheel at FSU Pike is an iron one, one that has been pushed by strong scholars since the first stone was set on this Tallahassee hollowed ground. The bro's bulkiness is just a backdrop for the brotherhood behind closed doors that launches Pike members into the solar system upon graduation. Whether discovering a career in cryptocurrency after a broken back or finding a job in cryptocurrency after a torn bicep, modern day success stories are the result of years of hard work. And while the ways current brothers honor the Pike legacy may differ, the result of their labor is inarguable and honestly deserving of reward. I heard that you guys did not have a bench press for the outside. So out of uh, the kindness of our own hearts and because we love you guys and we want to thank you for welcoming us back into your house, we got you guys a gift. You can open it now. Oh, let's go! Oh.